Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In between episodes, I spent some time gathering resources like redstone and shroom lights, and I painstakingly waited for some sugar cane to grow. But now, we stand in the library ready to step up our emerald game. If we head down this hole here, I'll show you what we gotta do. We have to mine out this, then we can uh, build the sugar cane farm. So let's get straight to it. With that dug out, I guess all we have to do now is really just build this in. This is like 40 pods of a sugarcane farm. I'll show off that design right now. They're tileable, so really this is infinitely expandable, but I'm just gonna build what I think I need for this world. Definitely going to need some decoration and a few uh, librarians on each side for paper trades, but this is done. We have 40 observers, 40 pistons watching for this stuff to grow, and obviously it takes time, but we do a lot of stuff around here, so it'll eventually start paying off. Might as well start it now and maybe AFK it today at work. And after an overnight session of AFKing here, this thing has done some work. We uh, we have plenty of paper, now we just need to get some guys down here. Kind of want like three villagers on each side that we can just trade paper with for lots of emeralds. And then we'll have the main villagers up here where we can get our books and whatnot, like this mending dude. Okay, so I think the simplest way to do this is we'll have three on each side. Honey underneath, their lecterns behind them. We'll have these slots, we'll push them in here, place a trap door in front, and then they'll be locked in. So uh, let's get some villagers, I guess. Villager number one. All right, we're just gonna try to get this guy as close as possible and then just whack him in. No, it's not that scary. <laughs> Dude, he locked himself in. You got played, brother. He upped his paper trade because I hit him though. Sorry, dude. I don't know if their paper trades can get any cheaper. I'm actually going to look that up real quick. Okay, it looks like 24 is what they're always going to trade for. So we're just going to lock this guy in. And we can go grab some other villagers. Villager number two. Please work with me. Nice. These guys are working way better. This guy already has paper trades. Let's go. Yo, this guy. What? Oh, hold up. This guy has unbreaking three for 14. I think after this last villager, we should be good for now. If we see like we need more emeralds, we can definitely put more villagers down in the basement there. And villager number three. Do these guys just keep walking straight in? And they keep giving me good trades too. So that's pretty sweet. What's this guy got? This guy is mending for nine. What's our guy upstairs doing? This guy sells it for like 20 emeralds up here. Okay, these guys down here are broken. I mean, they're gonna stay down here, but you know, we're definitely coming down here for unbreaking three, mending. This guy even has thorns for six. 
What is going on? I mean, we'll definitely have to keep AFKing this just to make sure we have enough, but we have a lot of emeralds already. We're gonna buy six mending books here. Or five, I guess. And we're gonna put mending on these four pieces. I do have some other stuff without mending on it, armor-wise, but it's not the enchantments I want on the armor, so we'll eventually craft something else for those. Nice. I just wanna see if this will mend up everything in one pole. We'll see here. Definitely our armor. If you guys have any ideas on how to decorate down here, let me know. I'm not really sure what to do just yet. One thing I was thinking of doing is relocating these animals in this, this farm right here. Kind of towards the edge of the property over there. Let me know what you guys think. Because I think this is some like prime real estate right here for some other builds and whatnot. Make it feel more city-like. And these are just kind of plopped right in the middle. But, you know, I'm not sure. I'll leave, I'll leave that up to uh, up to time. I am setting out on an expedition <laughs> real quick. I have to go find some pods oil. <laughs> I want some mushroom stem for a certain build we're gonna do here in a second. I could be wrong, but I think they sp it spawns under those mega trees up there. I came all the way out here without silk touch. Okay, half a day later, we are back, ready to grab some pods oil with my only silk touch tool. And with the help of these three baller villagers, we got silk touch on our axe here. And we can get these stems. I have to say it's it's very satisfying breaking these mushrooms with an axe. It's like insta mine. And if I spend one diamond here and make a jukebox, I think we are ready to build a little monument here, so I think I am going to do another little time lapse before we are done here and build an homage to our dragon fight. We'll check out this disc and uh, get to it. It might be a little cheesy, but I, I actually really like this. It's almost like the dragon egg is levitating and this is what is holding it down. But a nice little pillar of uh, progression in our series. And with that, you guys, I think that is where we're going to end the episode today. I know it wasn't that crazy of an episode, but we got some big stuff done, like getting a steady emerald flow and uh, just building some more cool monuments in our world. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.